104.4. Virgin Radio. So I just want to play something right here. Let me just play something. Now, Peter, Piper, Pink Peppers, but run, rock, rhyme, Humpty, Dumpty, fell down. That's his art. Time, Jackie, Nimble, what? Nimble, and he was quick, but jam, Mass <laughs> Mud, Fatter Jacks, or J.D. Founded in 1981 by Joseph Simmons, Daryl McDaniels, and Jam Master J. They were considered to be the pioneers of hip hop, the first group in their genre to be nominated for a Grammy and the first hip hop group to be played on MTV. They were the first rap group to appear on the front cover of Rolling Stone. In 2009, they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And then in 2014, inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. They have been the inspiration of many of the artists that we have heard over the last 30 years, including Eminem. Now, when I was a kid growing up in Detroit, I didn't know what I wanted to be yet. And then came Run DMC. I had never seen or heard anything like him, but somehow I knew it was right for me. Selling over 25 million albums in the States alone. Selling out a number of arenas across the world. They are Run DMC. And guess what? We got Darren McDaniels in the studio right now. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, man. What's happening? I'm in the place to be. <laughs> like, like, you know, we've had Virgin Radio here for like eight years, but yeah. we, uh-huh. this is royalty. You are legendary yeah. right now in the oh, studio, uh, bro. I, I don't think I'm Come royalty. on now, oh. man. Welcome. I, I just think I'm one of you. Come you know on what I'm saying? Now. I'm one of the people. You ain't uh, power to the people like my T-shirt power says. Power to the people. Man, <laughs> I just... Yes. When I got... when we, we only got the news late last night that you were coming in, and I was uh-huh. like, oh, this is fantastic, man. This is... I've got so many questions that I want to ask. I want to, yeah, you know, get to know who you guys are. We, you right, know, right. there's so much about you. When I, when I say legendary, I don't just mean it like I'm not just throwing that word out like, oh, it's legendary. Like, uh-huh. pure, like the stuff that you have created back in the early 80s until it still lives on till today. I want to talk about the right, clothing. Right. I want to talk about about the music i want to talk about what the you're music doing. the fashion yeah. the style Everything. the influence and, and what you're doing now you're here for comic-con yes. which yes, is yes, fantastic I'm here for the dubai comic con big I'm, shout out i'm holding what what this is well, when did this happen well, well before um yeah before music before yeah. um hip-hop came over the bridge because i grew up in queens yeah yep. like right around the corner from pretty yeah we're neighbors and, um, <laughs> hip-hop has started in the bronx but before before it came over the bridge from the Bronx to the suburbs of Queens, I was a little kid. I was in the comic books. That was my whole life. Yeah. Um. You know, I was a little school kid. You know, straight A's. I was. A, I was a brainiac. Yeah. Good. I on like me. to brag about that. I That's got good. good grades. That's good. And um, the whole world of comic books was just um, my. It influenced me. It educated me. And it inspired me, you know, because when you're a little kid and you're dealing with the struggles of being a little kid growing up, you know, peer pressure and bullies, you know, just trying to get your parents to understand you, it could be traumatic for a kid. So comic books was my release. And because I was a good student, um, it worked like this for me. In school, I would learn about, you know, the planets, the galaxy. Right. But when I would come home and read the Silver Surfer, he would take me there. So when Friday came along and it was time for me to take the test in school, I would get A++++. You know, in school I would learn about history. Right. You know what I'm saying? I would learn about World War II. But when I came home and read Captain America and the Red, Red Skull yep. fighting in Germany, it took me there. And I, t- I like to tell kids that um, your imagination, to, to other people outside of you, it may be make-believe. Okay. But when you're using your imagination, those things really happen. So what happened with me was, I'm into all these comic books. Now, hip-hop comes over the bridge from the Bronx, New York. And I was a shy little kid. But hip-hop, to me, wasn't about show business. And you could talk to anybody from Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Melly Mel, Africa Bambada, Cool Mo D, Cool Herc, all of the, the, the hip-hop before rap was recorded, you know, before Run DMC and Rappers of Light, it was a way that the young people would communicate. And we would communicate our ideas and our thoughts and our mm-hmm. creativity. And we would talk, you know, we would educate, we would motivate, we would inspire. So hip hop kind of allowed me to bring what I was reading in them comic books to life. So, cool. so when Run came to me and said, Yo, D, we're going to make a record. 
I was like, I'm going to be the... Because think about a comic book. Um, when you have a comic book character, like the Hulk. Right. He has an adjective, you know, has a word to describe who he is in his title. The Incredible Hulk. Hulk. The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. The Invincible. So when Run came to me, yo, D, I'm going to put you in this group. Because Run's brother, Russell, was an early manager of hip-hop. So Run was like, I'm going to put you in my group. So... I say, you gonna put me in a group? I get to rap with you, so I'm gonna become the devastating mic controlling. That's DMC, and the DMC is actually D from Daryl, MC from McDaniel's. So everything that was creative and innovative and make believe in my comic book world, yep. I was able to put on a record. And once it got on a record, it became visual. So when you did the video, when I stepped on stage, I had my glasses on, I had my hat on. You're a superhero, man. Look, right, yeah. exactly. You're so a superhero. You hit it right on the head. So basically what I want to say is, you know, Eminem and everybody that looked up to Run DMC and yeah. Public Enemy and LL Cool J and De La Soul, everybody said, you guys were like our superheroes. But it all started with the comic, comic book. book. So it's the same I thing. I yeah. love this. He's, love he's in studio right now. Yes. Run DMC, Daryl McDaniels, ladies and gentlemen.